we're going to practice um, two of the Reiki meditations that are in the manual, plus another two things that uh, are useful to start meditating. First of all, the posture, the, sp the spine has to be strong. This is why I, I use two people, because I, <coughs> I need to be comfortable. It's, it's crucial that we don't lay on the back of the chair. And I tell you why. Do you know why? No, nobody knows because nobody explains. The spine, the spine is our spiritual mm, backbone for the chakra cell. If we lay on our back, on the back of the chair, the energy cannot flow. And in these meditations, we are going to make the energy go up and down. It, this is called pranayama, or pranayama <coughs> in India, which is the deepest form of meditation. That's real meditation. So, <coughs> what we do first, first of all, we need to make a prayer. And when we pray, we really pray to God, to the God that I just described, which is a higher power, and we feel it like energy, but to God, not to the universe. People who use the word universe is because there is a stigma related to religion. They are afraid to talk to God because they don't know what God is. They don't know how to connect with God. And when we call the universe, well, in the universe, there is the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to talk about that today. And when people invoke or call the universe, I say the good, the bad, and the ugly. Two-thirds is... So, they are more likely to connect with dark spirits. And that's exactly what happens. So, never use the word universe. I have stories to prove that. And uh, if we have time, I will tell you. So, we do a prayer. I do a general prayer <coughs> that I would like to do now. And you do whatever you want according to your beliefs. But in general, God is not a person. God is this spirit, this energy, or this uh, consciousness that comes from spirit. Hmm? And we feel it as this healing energy. So, mm, I, I'm just going to say the prayer that I use every day. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, be Beloved God, Saints and Sages of all religions, we bow to you all. We come to thee to sit at thy feet of omnipresence, to receive thy blessings, thy protection, thy guidance. And when we say the protection, we really mean the spiritual protection against dark energies. We come to thee to, to sit at thy feet of omnipresence. God is everywhere. to receive thy blessings, thy protection, and thy guidance. We always ask for guidance to this, to God. The palms on the hand, ideally, in the joint of the legs and the, <coughs> and the upper body. And there is a little detail. We, we imagine that we have a cord pulling us and elonging our neck something like a high neck, and we relax the shoulder. This is very important to check our posture because we have to be very relaxed. So the shoulders, we have to check it, has to be relaxed. It's a kind like a, the, the, when we put the hands on the joint of the legs and, and the body, the shoulders are a little back. And the other important thing is, is that the bones of the, um, of the pelvis, there are two bones where we sit, those are the bones that has to be sitting, touching the, the chair. Actually, some, sometimes it's even better to sit like in the edge. This, this is something that you will have to discover, but it's extremely important to sit well. And, and it doesn't have to be very fluffy. Ideally, mm, comfortable, but it's better that it has some, a firm seat, the chair that we sit. All right, from there, we're going to take a deep breath and tense the whole body from head to toes, three times. If you can do the double breathing, it's better because 
I tell you later why. And we relax again, we check out our posture, the head, like somebody's pulling us from the top of the head, shoulders, we consciously relax the shoulders. And now we are going to practice a um, breathing exercise that is excellent to start calming the, the heart, the lungs and the mind. We are going to count to to about 10, like a two counts a second, or whatever you can until we feel the lungs, not forcing, not too much, but we feel the lungs, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hold it to ten, two, three, four, or whatever you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we release to the same count. Two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight. So we do it in a comfortable way for a couple of minutes to the count of six, eight, ten, whatever we, we, we can't, we can, <coughs> and we hold it for the same count and we exhale to the same count. Always the gaze, the eyes has to be gently lift to the spiritual eye and our attention is crucial that is in the spiritual eye, the point between the eyebrows. Always when we meditate, our attention has to be there. It's very powerful. <coughs> Now we are going to relax and always with the eyes gently lifted to the spiritual eye, we are going to watch, observe our breathing. We just observe the breathing. We can put, even though the attention, the main attention is on the spiritual eye, the point between the eyebrows, we pay attention <coughs> to our breathing without forcing it, just watching it how the air comes in and out, naturally. We can <coughs> have the awareness of the lungs expanding and contracting. We can even, if it's easier for you, to focus on the nostrils and observe how the air comes in and out. We're going to do it for a couple of minutes.
now we are going to <coughs> add the mental repetition of the Sanskrit words Hong So, H O N G. When we inhale, we mentally say Hong, and when we exhale, So, S A W. And in Sanskrit, this means I am Him, Him with capital letter, I am God. We are remembering and reclaiming our divine nature. <coughs> always with the eyes gentle, lifted to the spiritual eye, which is the main point of our concentration, <coughs> without forcing the breath, just watching the breath, we mentally repeat Hong during the inhalation, like a Hong, and so during the exhalation, so having the awareness that means I am Him. So we are part of this spirit that divided in the individual souls. Once in a while we check the posture, especially the shoulders has to be relaxed, we just let them down. The attention <coughs> on the spiritual eye, observing the breath and repeating mentally Hong So. to <coughs> pay a little bit attention to the fraction of a second between inhalation and exhalation, where the lungs don't move, we are forcing, we just observe, the Native Americans call it the sac sacred space, and also the fraction of a second a little longer between exhalation and inhalation. We just are aware of that. And on time, that space gets longer and longer. So we breathe very, very calmly. And we feel a very deep peace. We just observe when the lungs stop inhalation or exhalation and we just observe and let the <coughs> breathing resume by itself.
Now when the breath is calm, the heart is calmer, and even the mind that comes with practice, <coughs> we are going to practice the, the first Reiki meditation, it's called Hatsure Ho. <coughs> and we visualize a cloud of bright energy on the top of our head, and when we inhale, we inhale that energy through our crown chakra, the energy goes down our spine, through chakra, heart, solar plexus, and is stored during the inhalation in the second chakra. When the inhalation stops by itself, in that fraction of a second where the lungs don't move, we transfer the energy accumulated in the second chakra to all the cells of our body. So we visualize that our whole body is full of light, just like uh, Jesus said in the Bible. So we are energizing our spine and we are energizing our whole body with light. And when the exhalation comes, we exhale this energy through all the pores of our body in all directions like a rays. And then in the next inhalation, again we inhale energy through our crown chakra, goes down the spine during the inhalation, accumulates on the second chakra, when the inhalation stops, we transfer that energy to the whole body, and when we exhale, we exhale that energy through all the pores of our body, in all directions towards the infinite. In this way, we are not just energizing our spine, we are making the current circulate our spine, which is a pranayama, pranayam, <coughs> but we are healing our body. This is a great way of self-healing. Always with the eyes lifted to the spiritual eye, the point between the eyebrows, and we do the visualization of the energy entering the crown chakra during the inhalation, going down the head, the neck, the spine, and storing, being stored in the second chakra. When the inhalation stops, we transfer that energy in our whole body, we visualize our whole body full of light to every cell of our body, and we exhale that energy through all the pores of our body in all directions towards the infinite, like a rays of light. On time, you are going to feel very clear this current of energy through the spine, transferring that energy to the body. We just need to practice.
Just relax. And now just visualize we're going to move the energy up and down the spine. When we inhale, <coughs> the energy enters the base of the spine, the root chakra. And we, we practice all these meditations always without forcing the breath. So we do the visualizations following <coughs> the natural flow of the breathing. When we inhale, the energy goes up from the root chakra up the spine, second chakra, solar plexus, heart, throat, to the medulla oblongata, which is the neck, the soft part of the back of the neck, and from there to the spiritual life during the inhalation, the forehead. And then during the exhalation, the way the opposite way, from the spiritual eye, back to the medulla oblongata, and down to the spine, to the first chakra. And we just move the energy up and down. We can even visualize that we have a tube. That's exactly what we have, an energy tube on the spine that goes to the spiritual eye, so we can visualize like a white tube where the energy, the current is going up and down. During the inhalation, from the first chakra up the spine to the medulla oblongata, the back of the neck, and then going through the brain to the spiritual eye. And when we exhale from the spiritual eye, going through the brain to the medulla and down the spine. can also observe the space, the fraction of a second where the lungs do, don't move. At the end of inhalation, when our attention, always the attention is in the spiritual light, but when the energy reaches the spiritual light, there is a space where the lungs don't move. We enjoy that sacred space. And also at the end of the exhalation, when the energy is in the root chakra. <coughs> we are going to practice one more Reiki meditation. We do the same inhalation through the base of the spine and the energy goes from the first chakra to the second, accumulates there until the inhalation <coughs> is completed. And when we exhale, we exhale that energy in non directions towards the infinite. That we inhale the energy through the second chakra, goes up to the solar plexus, accumulates there, and we exhale from the solar plexus in all directions towards the infinite. Now we inhale through the solar plexus, goes up to the heart chakra. We see this sphere of energy and we exhale in all directions towards the infinite. Now we inhale through the heart chakra, the energy goes up to the throat chakra. <coughs> Accumulates there, and we exhale it. Exhale that energy towards all directions, to all directions, towards the infinite. We inhale through the throat chakra up to the medulla oblongata, the back of the head, 
and from the medulla we exhale in all directions towards the infinite. We inhale through the medulla up to the middle of the brain, the sixth chakra, the spiritual line, and we exhale from the middle of the brain in all directions. We inhale through the sixth chakra, up to the crown chakra, the energy accumulates there, the crown chakra is a few inches above the head, and we exhale from the crown chakra in all directions. Now we do exactly the same in opposite di directions. And if you miss a chakra, it really doesn't matter. We inhale, goes down, we release, and so on. Every time that we inhale, the energy enters a chakra and now goes down to the next chakra. So <coughs> we, we are aware of the space, <coughs> the fraction of a second between inhalation and exhalation where the lungs don't move. Eventually they become longer and longer and we can enjoy a deep peace. We finish always our meditations thanking God for this moment, especially now that we are together. This is what Jesus meant when he said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am there. He's always with us, but we feel the divine presence deeper and stronger when we are meditating together. And everything that we did is just the beginning. <laughs> because the real meditation is now. When we feel the peace, we focus on the spiritual eye, <coughs> and we just enjoy the peace. And we try to go deeper and deeper and deeper. I know that it, for those who don't have this routine, it could sound weird, but this is why we need to meditate every day. <coughs> and this is also the moment to talk to God, to ask for something that is reasonable, to ask for guidance, for protection, and also to, to ask to reveal Himself. We say a prayer. This is the one that I usually use. <coughs> May thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of our devotion, and may we be able to awaken that, that love in all hearts. Om, peace, amen. All right, it was over half an hour. <laughs> and believe, eh? That's awesome. <laughs> well, I promise you, you do this every day, half an hour in the morning, half an hour before going to sleep. You're going to stand out as a healer, but way, way average. When I talk to other, students and they don't they were not taught to meditate and they are missing a lot they are missing a lot and nowadays with this crisis we badly need this connection because if we don't have it fear comes 
manipulation affect us and all those things. But when we mm, anchor our life in the peace of meditation, there is nothing that can um, shake us, but needs practice. I promise you, it works. This is the most important thing. You can go home. Thank <laughs> you.